finding that hospitals are trying to look at social media of pa patients specifically and integrating that into their profile? Or is there, um, is that sort of the context you were talking about? Yeah, so in general, right, um, uh, I think at the end of the day, right, we are finding that um, uh, patient acquisition cost used to be sub substantially lower in the early days because there was less competition, patients were not uh, uh, self-aware of uh, their uh, well-beings and whatnot, right? Today with the social media, uh, right now social media, uh, patients are searching for the healthcare information what, one out of 20 times. So whenever somebody's out there, uh, they try to do search pertaining to the health-related inf information about one out of 20, uh, 20 times. And today, Google is doing like more than one billion searches uh, per day. So if you factor that in, it comes out to be like 175 million per day, right? So what I mean by that, just to answer your question, right? Um, so if you want to create more, better experience from the patient's perspective in terms of elevating Rush as a brand, right? You need to acutely know uh, patients' likes, dislikes, their challenges, their frustration, their pain points. And the more you can speak to that, Rush, by the way, already has a great uh, Facebook page. They already have a great, a great YouTube channel where I have seen doctor's testimonials, where I have seen uh, patients kind of getting interviewed. So I think that is the sort of trend that you have to kind of move towards. But there are many other things that Rush can do. So for example, Teva Pharmaceuticals, right? They have created like a dedicated podcast called Life Stories, where they're actually interviewing patients uh, struggles, their uh, triumphs, their outcomes, and how they kind of overcame uh, certain diseases. Uh, so that becomes like a, a true inspiration for other patients who are struggling through the same uh, pain points and diseases and whatnot, right? So it, it is really pertaining to kind of uh, creating that long-lasting trust and branding connection. Uh, so that is what I was uh, basically talking about. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense.